Hi again, this is Chad Jordan, VP of Brands with Soshi, and I want to talk to you about three ways companies should be communicating in crisis. After this video is over, whether you are an employer or an employee, I hope you're convinced about the importance of your company communicating clearly through this COVID-19 crisis. I'm going to give you a few practical ways to do so. Some will take little to no time at all. Others will require a bit of effort, but I guarantee your customers will appreciate it. Your employees will feel valued and your business will stand a better chance of surviving all of this. Because look, in the bleak of an eye, our world has certainly changed. Like Dorothy told Toto, clearly we are not in Kansas anymore. And from the look of it, we aren't going to be back there anytime soon. In fact, when we do get back to the new normal, most of us and most of what we have known will look forever changed. The way we work, the way we shop, the way we gather together and more will most likely have shifted to some version of an altered reality we couldn't have anticipated just a short while ago. So how we market, how we advertise, how we communicate must adapt as well. Let's be honest, marketing and advertising in the midst of this feels kind of silly, right? Not, not just silly, almost insensitive, even dare I say icky. But what is marketing really? What is advertising? It's communication. Marketing is messaging. So right now through this, we have to commit to communicating. We have to do our marketing through messaging our clients and keeping our employees well informed. But the companies that are gonna survive this crisis are the ones that will adapt and put out the right messaging at the right time on the right channels. So there is another strategy that is needed in a time like this. I'm calling it the locomotive strategy. A locomotive, as you know, is the engine, the lead car of a train. It's the one that sees the light at the end of the tunnel before anybody else does. And it calls it out. It whistles out. It signals to everybody else the way out of that tunnel, pulling the other cars, dragging folks along for the ride if necessary. So here's the locomotive approach to communicating in crisis that I'm suggesting during this time. First, your company must climb aboard the social media train and ride that thing from here on out. Social media is not going anywhere. And with people hunkered down in their homes for the duration, social media is going to play an even bigger role moving forward. But let's take a few minutes to speak specifically about the right way to communicate to your customers and to your employees through social media. First, let's discuss frequency. Your company should be posting to your social media channels, not just daily, but at least two to three times every day. I know that's gonna make some of you feel like, well, that's, that's just too much. You gotta pump the brakes, but trust me, it isn't too much. So post more often, especially right now. If you're a company with multiple locations, I hope you already have parent-child set up on Facebook or are even using a platform you know, like Sochi because you ideally want to post from one source but have your social media uh, messages appear on the local pages uh, as well where people are more engaged and more likely to see them. If you only have a corporate page, these tactics that I'm going to give you are going to still work, but hopefully you do have local accounts as well. Okay. So commit to posting two to three times each day, but what should you post? We've already established you can't just trot out your normal stuff and to just beat people over the head with marketing messages would be out of place right now. So again, marketing is messaging, it's communication. So communicate to us, your customers and employees about the state of your business. 99% of my social media messaging right now would be video posts where we give out a one to two minute, minute video to be consumed. Help me step away from the cycle of negative news and give me something as a customer informative to digest. I'm suggesting you adopt this pattern right away. Post, post number one should be about your current state of operations. Post number two should be a, about an update uh, uh, with, about your employees. And post number three should be a post about your clients. And let me break that down for you uh, right now so you can see how that would work. The first thing you should post daily, post number one, is your current state of operations. Give us a daily update on what is happening with your business. Are you open? Are you closed? Are you delivering? We have a million questions. Help answer them for us daily. If your business is open right now, 
I want your very next social media post to be a video from your customer's perspective on how they are to interact with your business. Let's use a restaurant, for example. I would film a video of me acting like a customer, placing an order, getting in my car, going to the exact pickup spot for curbside pickup, getting my food, ahem, tipping the server, all that kind of stuff. Most of us have never had to order curbside pickup from your uh, restaurant. So make it simple on us. Give me a video showing me exactly what I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go, what number I'm supposed to call, where I go park. And each of these videos, look, that you create, they will get viewed, they will get engagement, I promise you. So every day, post some sort of helpful update or informational video about what is going on with your business. Even if you're closed through this, give us an update daily. Show us what you're up to. Don't let me forget about you. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so give me something. In a previous video, I recommended that uh, if you're, especially if you're closed, go be a problem solver during this. If your business is closed, for instance, all of my years at Sport Clips, I, I've got friends that are franchisees and hairstylists, and, and a lot of those locations are closed across the country, of course. Those stylists aren't working right now. So if I was a salon, I would post videos every day of one of my hairstylists giving a hair tip of some kind, either on how a guy should style his hair when it gets longer, fun things to do with longer hair, how to keep your hair healthy, how to trim your own hair so that it doesn't get butchered beyond repair, how to cut your kid's hair, oh my gosh, things like that. But post number one every day, every morning, should be about the current state of your business operations. All right, moving on to post number two. Maybe a few hours later, you post this one. Again, it should be a video, and this one is focused on the employees of the business. If you're a local business owner, maybe record a FaceTime video with your store manager and then uh, maybe other employees each day or something. Just discussing life. Ask how they're holding up through this. It's like a, a, a just checking in on, on those folks. This, I'm not looking for this to be staged, but let your customers see how you are taking care of your employees through this and how your employees are holding up. We want to know this. We have to know this. What if through all of this, the community gets to see how you lead your team? What if your community and your customer base and potential customers get to understand your business better through all of this? How amazing would that be? If you want to delegate this, maybe assign your employees a subject matter or a topic and have them fill a, film a two, two to three minute video and have them post that. Or, or if you're a big brand, ask for your employees to submit videos on how they are coping with this. What are they doing to make the time pass? Maybe they're still in their, their logoed uniforms. You might wind up with some social media naturals on your hands, some future influencers, and you can have them star in bigger marketing roles down the road. Build your culture through this, unite your company through this, and you'll be glad you did. Finally, on social media, my third post, the post number three, maybe not my final, but my third post of the day and somewhere in the mid-afternoon should be a video highlighting your customers. Ask them to send you videos and messages that you can share on your social media channels. Create maybe a formula for them to follow if you want, telling them the topics you want to know about or even gamify it where you can ask for submissions from your fans and the ones that you post each day win some sort of gift certificate that can be used when this is all said and done. Maybe it'll, it'll they'll get shared and it'll go viral. You could even create a dance challenge or some other social media trend and ask for your customers to join in. Again, back to Ace Hardware, they have encouraged kids to uh, sing, oh uh, boy, Ace is a place with the helpful hardware, folks. Excuse uh, singing. Sing that four times to show how long you should wash your hands and they turn that into a viral challenge. Look, the point of your social media activity is not about driving business right now. That's essentially out the window for most companies. Social media's major impact through this is building the community that will sustain you and revitalize you once this crisis is over. Let me repeat that point. Social media will help you build your community that will help you rebuild your company much more quickly than you could have otherwise. So the longer you wait to jump on the social media train, the harder you're gonna find it to create the community you'll need down the line. If you take nothing else away from this video, please remember this. Your social media efforts through this crisis will make or break your recovery from this crisis. And hey, this too shall pass. This won't last forever. So keep your wits about you, communicate clearly, and yes, hang in there.